Let's do a science lesson. I'm gonna start our science lesson with a little song. You can help me or you can uh, hum along. Remember humming is when you go hmm, 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 hmm. You can sing la, 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 la. That's also a good way to, to join in on a song you don't know the words to yet. So my song goes like this. Wind, wind, hear the wind, hear it blow and blow. Up and up and down below, feel it come and go. Wind, wind, hear the wind, it is moving air. Side to side and all around, wind is everywhere. Maybe you see the wind blowing in the trees outside. What is wind? That's air moving. We're gonna to to be talking about air. I'm gonna show you this. What do I have here? This is a baggie. You might use this for some snacks at home, put some food in, or maybe you even have um, a baggie with some toys in it. What can we say about this baggie right now? Is it full or is it empty? Hmm. This is empty. There's nothing inside. Did you say empty? Good job. Well, today I'm going to fill the bag up with something. Are you ready? Watch closely. Oops. Got to keep it open. <gasps> What did I put in there? I'm gonna try it a different way. <gasps> what did I put in there? Oh my goodness. Do you know what I've caught in the bag? I caught something and I zipped it up. I've caught air in the bag, that's right. Can you see it? No, air is invisible. That means you can't see it. <gasps> There's another bell, so you know it's time for learning. We can't see it, but the air is all around us. Yep, it's in my room, in the classroom, and it's at your house at home. I wonder if you can get a baggie or any type of bag and catch some air. Look, I can catch air over here. <gasps> I caught air on my left side. I wonder if I can catch some air over here. I did. I caught some air on the other side of me. Where can you catch some air? Could you, with a parent, go outside to catch some air? What about from your kitchen or from your bedroom? There's air in all of those places. There's air under your chair. There's air in the car, just everywhere. So, hmm, what, what did we do to investigate the air in our bag? Hmm, we used our eyes to look at the bag. It looked empty. And then when I put air in it, it looked full. If you have a bag at home, you might use your touch to investigate if the air, if there's air in the bag, if it's full or if it's empty. Good job using your senses to investigate. So let's see what other things we can fill up with air. Hmm, I wonder, what's this? This is a balloon. Is this balloon full or is it empty? It's empty, right? I am going to fill it up with air. How do I do that? Where am I gonna get the air to fill it up? <gasps> There's air in my lungs, kind of like how I filled up the bag. I'm gonna use the air inside my lungs to put in the balloon. Are you ready? Here we go. Here's one big, one big blow. I'm gonna do two. I'm gonna do three. Let's do one more for four. 
I put air inside my balloon. Wow, look at it now. This is inflated. That's a big word. Do you want to try to say it with me? Inflated. I inflated the balloon with air. Now I have not tied it in a knot yet. What should I do? Should I let it go? Oh no, that's a funny sound. <laughs> I deflated the balloon. I took all the air out, so I deflated. That means there's no air, it's empty again. <gasps> Remember the air was came from my lungs. Inside my body, there was air that I put in the balloon. So we can inflate and deflate our lungs. That's breathing in and breathing out. Will you try a couple deep breaths with me? Let's inflate our lungs, here we go. And we'll deflate them. Here we go, let's do it again. Pulling air in is inflating. And letting it out is deflating. We can also use these other words. Inhale. And exhale. Good, our air is all around us. Let's see if there's another item that we can inflate and deflate. Oh, what is this? You might not even know what it is when it's deflated. There's no air inside, it's empty. Let's blow it up with the air from my lungs and see if you can see what it is. <gasps> Ooh, not very tight, let me put another, another uh, breath in it. Oh, can you tell what I have here? It's a little ball. So the ball is full of air, right? When we saw it before, it was empty. It was deflated. Now my ball is inflated, and that's way more fun to play with the ball that's inflated with air. Do you have a ball to play with at home? You can practice tossing it and catching it you can practice tossing it to another person and catching it when they throw it back. And you can practice rolling it. That's a fun way to play with the ball. Let's do, let's see if we have one other tool that can show us uh, air and how air moves. Maybe you have one of these at home. What's this called? This is a straw. So usually we use a straw for our drinks, right? We put a straw in and we can drink our drinks, but a straw can help you understand how air moves. So without any liquid, I can use the air from my lungs to blow through the straw. And I, let's see if I can feel it on my hand. Here we go. When I exhaled or I deflated my lungs through the straw, I could feel it on my hand. Do you have a straw at home that you could try this experiment? Hold your straw up and hold your hand here. Remember when we are um, doing science, we're using our senses to investigate. So this is, you would have to use your, your sense of touch on your hand to investigate this. I'm gonna try again. I felt the air moving on my hand. All right, well, you have fun learning about air today. Remember, you can catch air in a baggie and practice empty and full. You might even have a balloon at home that you can practice filling up with the air from your lungs. And if you have a straw, you can practice how the air moves through your lungs and through the straw onto your hand.